Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I'm introducing a pretty significant upgrade to Stable Diffusion. Stability AI just released the third version of Stable Diffusion, and I've spent the whole day learning and testing it out. Currently, there are only the basic models released by Stability AI and one checkpoint on Civitai, but it has really improved significantly over the previous version. The details are better done, with 2 billion parameters for this medium version. In my opinion, it is relatively lightweight. Currently, I am only using an RTX 3070 card with 8 gigabits of RAM and each image is generated in only about 16 to sampler. Currently, it only supports text to image. Advanced processing measures such as IP adapter, control net, and image to image are not yet available, but they are also very promising to shorten the distance to mid journey as SD is really powerful with these supporting tools in addition. The NSFW feature is currently locked and it is unclear whether stability will open it up in the future. However, the demand for this is very large and is also the biggest reason why members are approaching stable diffusion. In this video, I will guide you on how to install Stable Diffusion 3 in Confui and combine it to create videos from Luma, a new emerging AI from China that can match Google's Sora with its stability and superior capabilities compared to other video generation AIs. I've already created this workflow here. I've changed a few things that might cause errors, and it's currently running stable. The checkpoint I'm using is also a checkpoint from Civitai. I will leave the link below so you can download it. The first thing we need to do is upgrade your Confui to the latest version, which will allow you to use the newly released nodes. After that, download a checkpoint from Civitai, or if you want, you can also download the basic medium checkpoint from Stability's Hugging Face. The location of the checkpoint is the same as in previous generations, which is in the checkpoint directory inside the model directory of Confui. The next step is to download the clip models and place them in the clip folder inside the model folder of Confui. There are currently for clip model files, but we only need to use to models, clip G and clip T to make it work. Now let's go back to Confui and generate images based on this workflow. The prompt structure remains the same as in previous versions, however, this version seems to place more emphasis on negative prompts, which is why it has been added to some other nodes for control. Now, I will use a random prompt that a user on Civitai used to test the accuracy. You just need to copy the prompt into both of the boxes below since this is a dual clip model and the third box does not need a prompt. We have the results very soon. I've also enabled the upscaling feature to improve the quality of the output images here, so it will take a little longer, but the results will be better. As you can see, the quality of the generated images is much better than the previous versions released by Stability AI, the details are finer, the hands and feet are less prone to errors, and the images closely adhere to the prompts. Now I will use this image to create a video using Luma. First you need to load the image here, then you can reuse the prompt to generate images as well, however we will shorten it down so that it only needs about 30 tokens, the rest of the tokens we will use to create animation prompts. The animation prompts here are prompts about camera direction and can also be about lighting, a bit of physical elements, etc. Those prompts also play a significant role in creating videos with higher attractiveness. In the meantime, I will show you some of the videos I experimented with earlier. For example, this video, which is an image of a girl standing next to a supercar in a vintage setting. Here, I added the physical element of wind to create movement from the character and a dramatic camera angle to create a path for the camera. And this video is simply a prompt I extracted from the SD3 image generation prompt with the motion elements left for Luma to automatically set up. 
And for some of the previous videos, I used Luma's text to video mode to check the accuracy of the prompts, the smoothness of each frame, and the overall flow of the video. The current drawbacks of Luma are its slow video rendering speed and the lack of certain camera control tools and features to add more motion to the subject. I had to wait two hours for it to render the video of the girl in the black dress standing in the house. This could be due to the recent surge in popularity and usage of Luma, which might be causing some server overload. Additionally, the lack of tools for controlling camera movements and adding more dynamic movements to the subject limits the creative possibilities and overall quality of the generated videos. Of course, compared to Sona, at least Luma has been released and is available for users to use. It also takes a bit less time to render videos, but its ability to create smooth and creative videos is quite remarkable. Currently, Luma allows users to create 30 free videos per month. You can increase this limit by subscribing to their paid plans. In the next video, I will continue to share workflows that can be useful for your work. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel and enable notifications to stay updated on my latest content. You can also join my Patreon to access exclusive workflows that I have carefully researched and refined to achieve the best results. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.